In question 1 of this exercise, we have to find the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equations. So, three quadratic equations are given to us and we have to find the nature of the roots of each of these. And if the real roots exist, we have to find those roots. So, we are going to use the following fact to solve this problem. So, suppose that ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 is some quadratic equation then this equation will have real roots only if its discriminant is non-negative. So the discriminant which is equal to b square minus 4ac, if this is greater than or equal to 0, then this equation will have real roots. Otherwise, this equation will have non-real or complex roots. Okay, so let's start with part 1. So in part 1, the equation is 2x square minus 3x plus 5 equal to 0. So let's write the coefficients of this equation. So a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to 5. Now let's calculate the discriminant. So the discriminant of this equation is b square or minus 3 square minus 4 ac. So minus 4 times a which is 2 times c which is 5. So this is equal to 9 minus 4 into 2 is 8, 8 into 5 is 40. So 9 minus 40 or minus 31, which is less than 0. So in part 1, the discriminant is less than 0. So the real roots of this quadratic equation do not exist. In other words, the roots are non-real. So let's write this here. The nature of the roots, the nature, the roots are non-real in part 1. Okay, now let's go to part 2. So in part 2, the equation is 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 equal to 0. So the coefficients in this case are a is equal to 3, uh, a is equal to 3, b is equal to minus 4 root 3 and c is equal to 4. And now let's calculate the discriminant. So the discriminant is b square or minus 4 root 3 square minus 4 ac so minus 4 times a which is 3 times c which is 4 now minus 4 root 3 square is uh, 16 into 3 or 48 and then minus 4 into 3 12 12 into 4 is 48 so the discriminant is equal to 0 so this means that the roots are real but the roots will be identical and the roots will be given by x equal to minus b plus minus root d so that's 0 so minus b by 2a so this is equal to minus b is equal to 4 root 3 uh, and then 2a is equal to 2 times 3 or uh, 6 so we can write this as 2 root 3 by 3 or if you want you can even simplify it as 2 by root 3 so in the second part, the roots are real but identical, real and identical and the roots are given by x equal to 2 by root 3 and x equal to 2 by root 3. Okay, now let's go to part 3. So in part 3, the equation is 2x square minus 6x plus 3 equal to 0. So let's write the coefficients first. So the coefficients are a equal to 2 b equal to minus 6 and c is equal to 3. So the discriminant of this equation is b square minus 4ac or minus 6 square minus 4 into a which is 2 into c which is 3. So minus 6 square is 36. So 36 minus 4 into 2 8, 8 into 3 24. So 36 minus 24 or 12. So the discriminant is greater than 0 which means that this equation will have real and distinct roots. So let's write it here, real and distinct roots. And now let's find those roots as well. So the roots will be given by the quadratic formula. So x equal to minus b, so that's 6, plus minus root of the discriminant, so that's 12, by 2a, or 2a is 4. Now we can write root 12 as... 2 root 3 because root 12 is 4 into 3 so root 12 is 2 times root 3 and then we can write this as 6 plus minus 2 root 3 by 4 and now if we cancel out uh, the common factor of 2 
in the numerator and the denominator we get 3 plus minus root 3 by 2 so the two roots in this case are 3 plus root 3 by 2 corresponding to the plus sign and 3 minus root 3 by 2 for the minus sign okay so the answer that we get is in part 1 we have non-real roots in part 2 we have real identical roots and in part 3 we have real and distinct roots to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.